Today I just wanted to go through a few of the websites that had helped me along my laser journey. So I just wanted to show five or six, you know, that have helped me out. This is a good page, this Maker Design Lab. You can get, you know, like boxes, puzzles, so, you know, like these type of boxes, boxes with flexible parts, um, more boxes, paper shapes gear you know to build gears and stuff and a gear designer mazes so you can build you know like wooden mazes um vector ruler generator so you can i actually drew my own one out before <laughs> i didn't realize um this one as well is quite nice like a jigsaw puzzle generator so i'll just show this one for instance you just click on it just move these around to change the generate different looks, change the size of the tabs and the angle and then you just download it as an SVG scalable vector graphic and that will go straight if you do use this jitter you just gotta watch you can see there where they're so really I mean if you keep this at zero it'll just be like a normal puzzle so that's that one but you need to look through that because there's a lot of like SVG nest but yeah you've got a lot of different options on there for you know making different things I'll close that one down uh, next one is image R and this will do the same a lot of people like use this you know for your images which is really good you know to get your images you just upload your image and you, you know tell it what material and stuff but as well on here, you've got the puzzle, mask, you know, background remover, cartoonizer. So, yeah, image R is another good one to look through. Make a case. This might have been on the last one, but yeah, this is another one. Just, you know, basic boxes and stuff like that. I'll just skip that one. Um, this free PNG logos have a lot of different i just typed in harley davidson just to see what ones i had but i mean they have a lot of different free pngs i mean you could type in anything i'll just type in basketball and you can see it brings up all let me just see i'm going to click on that free for personal use so yeah, as you click on them, like you can read the license, and then you just download HD PMV, and then when this pops up at the bottom, download now. And mine downloads to here, and then you can just drag it over the top of your light burn and put it straight in there. So, I mean, that's nice. And there's a lot of different PNGs on there, and they're already, you know, basically cut out very well so you can easily trace it let me just see trace image i won't even mess with the settings and you can see it's just exactly the same so i'll close that one down oh this one is snazzy maps and this is if you want to you know make a kind of map i did make one before on my uh channel here but yeah, you just go to build a map and close that. And then you just want to put in a location. So click on this. And here where it says latitude, longitude, you can search for a location. I'll just put Ohio. And then um, apply changes. Yeah, once you chose your location, you can choose a style. So you want to click on that, and then you can s search for laser. And you'll see there's kind of, you know, these laser kind of styles. So I'll just click it so you can see. But as you zoom in, you know, like if you're doing a little town or something like that, this will give you an outline that you can trace. And then, you know, then you can cut that out of wood. This is called My Heritage. It's enhance your photos. And if you've got an old black and white photo or a photo that's really bad quality, 
you can actually upload it to here and it can really improve it and I mean sometimes it does do it as good as that so that's another one to definitely look at I would upload a picture but I don't think I have any old photos but yeah definitely give that a try if you've got an old black and white photo you can upload it, you can actually colorize it, you can make it move like a video. It's all free. You just have to log in, you know, with your Google account or whatever, but it can really make a difference. As you pick the photos, it will show you, like the people, you know, the faces that it's enhancing what's in there. And then it'll show you how it originally was and what it done. So, yeah. And you can see once it's colorized, yeah, and each individual person, like I say, you can see the enhancement. So, yeah, give that a try, my heritage, and give the others a try and just take a look. The last thing on my list was anyone who uses Photoshop, like, if you want to learn how to use the pen tool, this is how I learned it. There's this game called the Bezier game, and basically, you know, you can learn how to use it. And it gives you a chance just to, you know, go back and start again if you mess anything up. And it just gets progressively harder. So you just start with the square and then... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just... It starts off easy, just straight lines. But then you start getting into curves and stuff like that. And if you press clear stage, it'll show you roughly like how they want you to do it. And it can be done other ways. You don't have to go with their way so thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and i'll put out another video as soon as possible thank you